Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be working on this Japanese white plane. If you have seen the previous video, we styled this white pine uh, probably about eight months ago, and I feel like right now is a good time to bring back the shape to the tree. We don't want the branches to grow too long because if they do, then uh, we will actually stop developing new branches at the beginning. So we're just gonna do a little uh, cut back and then reposition some of the branches and wire the other ones that had actually started growing. Uh, we're gonna come up with a new leader branch uh, and just reduce the size of this tree. But let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is just figure out once again the front of the tree. I had actually established the tree to be at this position right here and this being the front of the tree and this being the back of the tree. So you folks are right now facing the front of the tree and let me just add this little piece of block right here so you can actually see where I would want it to be. So right there is the actual angle of the tree that I'm trying to work on like this and we're just going to go ahead and wire some of the branches and cut back a little bit before we begin with the wiring we must first uh, cut back some of these branches so that we can actually figure out where we want this to be um, like in the previous video I did had a sketch and we will still continue to go based off of that sure if you folks can see from over here but we do have a lot of new growth. Let me just zoom in. As you can see right here, we do have new branches being developed. And this is due to the fact that we did work on the tree uh, previously. So the fact that we cut back, uh, actually push back new growth right over here. And soon we're going to be able to wire those and just have like a better uh, pad right here, better branching. So that's exactly what we're trying to do at the top. We're gonna cut back a little bit so we can develop new branches as well. So let's try to figure out which branches we need to cut back and up to what length. For this part of the video, we do need some sharp shears. Uh, you can use sharp scissors, however, uh, shears would also be uh, recommended. Make sure that they're clean and sterile because we do not want to give any bacteria to the branches and possibly kill them. So let's restore this tree. Uh, and by first, we're just gonna try to bring it back to coniferate shape. not cutting much off at least for some branches we're just cutting off just a little bit but once again this is just so that we can bring it back to its original shape and from my experience I like to cut where there's still green I don't like to cut anywhere where there's already hardwood you always want to start from the bottom I had already finished uh, cutting some of these branches however I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so that you can see some other branches that I'm actually debating and cutting and some that I'm just pretty much thinking about not cutting at all just because some little branches are growing at certain points but let me show you what I mean all right so looking at this tree from my point of view as you can see we have some branches over here going in this direction and we do have a split off right over here but if you're looking at the other ones, for example, right over here, if we're looking at this branch over here, we do see some new growth right here. These two is going to create a new branch. And also, let me give you another example. Spot right over here where this finger is. You can see the difference in coloration. Um, at this point, we can see one and two little branches trying to sprout from this exact same area. So what we're going to do is that we're going to cut back right about here. Like with any other trees, cutting over here would actually force the nutrients to go to this point rather than bringing all the nutrients to this branch. So as soon as we get rid of that, we're going to have this little branches growing at a quite quicker rate. We also have more growth over here, so we're going to be cutting back just about over here. And then just have these two little branches grow in the same direction so we can have a better ramification. As soon as we're done wiring, we're just going to be facing them up, but in such case, I'll just probably time lapse this 
the entire procedure. All right, so like we said, we're just gonna be cutting back uh, just a little bit above where those branches will be meeting. Uh, that way we will provide some dieback room. And what we're gonna be doing to this, to almost every branch that has that much growth. Now we're just going to proceed with the wiring of the rest of the branches and we are using a actually uh, semi-bendable wire. To find out if you're using strong enough wire to bend the branches is by simply tapping the branch. If the branch uh, doesn't move as much and the wire bends then that means that you need to go up with the bigger side of the wire. So in this case this wire right here is actually perfect for it and what we're going to do is that we're just going to wire two branches at a time like always. I do want to lower this branch just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to anchor some of these wire over here and see how much I can bring it down. have some thinner branches over here we want to go ahead and take care of these two for the smaller branches what I like to do is that I do get some two thin wires like super thin wires and then I combine them together to create a semi larger one I'll show you right now so I have combined two wires just like this ones right here then getting closer come over here like this trying to avoid the new buds then what we want to do is that we want to reposition all the branches like this Simply twisting a little bit and then bring them up. Like so. That here, here. I can actually just try to relocate this one a little bit. That was fine though. I'm not sure if you see right over here. So right over here, I do have this branch. And this one, I want to be able to do kind of like a cascade type. So what I want to do is just, I'm gonna continue letting it grow here. Uh, soon these two branches are gonna propagate a little more and I'm probably expecting some new growth somewhere around the line right here. Then I'm gonna cut off this branch so that I can just continue growing these two branches like I had over here and I see going right up here we do have the main leader branch I do want to go ahead and leave this here for now just because I want to establish a new height of the tree uh, luckily we do have a lot of branches growing over here and I shared if you can see the difference in green all of this uh, darker green is going to turn into new branches so coming down over here we still have the nice movement of the tree and a nice angle um, probably next spring I'm going to be repotting it just because I don't want to um, risk losing this little one over here so all the branches are positioned um, facing upwards a little bit this one right here so um, I need to bring down just a little bit more and I'll do so in a moment but I guess this is the end of this video over here make sure you stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you next time.